How do I look? You look great. So do you. I was really okay. I realized I could have given this to you in a bit of a nicer way than just throwing it through you, but I was already thinking about it before the game, and I was like, I'm not going to be thinking about these two guys while I'm supposed to be warming well, you up. You need to be. Th come on. No, you don't. You don't want to be thinking. Let's give one good hug. So don't got, worry. I got a triple seven here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I did. We got a. We got a. We got a triple seven. M Marcus, how's the the framing on this? We good? Are, are we? Are we in the shot? Oh, yeah. oh, beautiful! Oh, oh, now we, okay, okay, okay. There, there we go. We, we, we're here with the triple seven. Hey, I'm gonna hop out of here as, as soon as I thank Steve for this because not only is this a legendary gift, but it proves that like him and his family watch our stuff, and they we get, already know that we already know that, and we, they just get what we do, and they appreciate us, and we appreciate you so much. We appreciate you so much. I, I love you and your family, and you guys are awesome for the sport of volleyball. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Can I awesome. give you guys one shout out? Okay. I okay, I do not look at the Discord because there's some trolls in there and they found they fucking bother me. And my parents talk to me about this Discord all the time. Hey, do you know this person's doing I have no idea how my parents saw this information. But you the guys Discord. are making volleyball accessible to so many people and it really is really cool for our sport. Um, and I and I love it. Sometimes I don't agree, but that's like the same thing with coverage. You know, like you guys have your opinions and you watch so much volleyball. You guys have things we from try. a completely different perspective than I do, and I think it's cool to also just take in different information. So I love what you're doing, honestly, and that's why I kind of wanted to give you guys something cool. And I got some friends. Yeah. I got some friends, oh. and I was able to make it happen. And I didn't know who to get you, so I got No, no, no. This, this, that's a perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. because the season well, was quite incredible. I tried to buy this jersey this year yeah. in the playoffs, but it, the, the blue ones are already sold out. Yeah. And I was looking at getting like the white the ones. Playoffs. I like the blue ones yeah. as well, too. So I was trying to get a Mars 7. Okay. In the so that was perfect like that I couldn't right. yeah it was it was well, it was great we, dis we do I'm gonna disconnect this guy and let ever yeah. talk to you about this game thank you again Appreciate and that Monza run was awesome Thanks. all time awesome Appreciate well it. we can't talk about that now but we'll have to talk about yeah, that at some point, some point um, but yeah Mar Steve nice three one win over Cuba and we if we look back I just talked to him once and he's like I don't want to look at the past but if we're gonna look at the past a little bit last year Canada goes three and nine the VNL you guys are already three and two. Right, yeah. already equal last year's win total. Last year was a 3-2 win over Cuba. This year, a much more decisive 3-1 win over, 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 over Cuba to open up the Ottawa leg. It seems like the confidence around this team is completely different after last year's second half of, of the summer. Is that, is that a fair assessment to say? I think it kind of speaks to the question where everyone asks, like, what are you playing for? Because a, a lot of people are asking, oh, you're already qualified, like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And I think you can see how much the team improved over like a limited amount of time and that's exactly what we have we have all of these matches to see how good we can get to a place where we can actually compete for a medal and that's one of the most this is probably the most confident i've ever been that we have all the pieces we need and all the the buy-in that we need to be exactly where where we can fight for those opportunities and so that's what we're we're thinking about for vnl so like if we're three and two that's great but what i'm in what's most important to me is Okay, the first game against Turkey was a little shaky as a team, but we, we managed through it. And then each successive game, we've been improving. The game against Italy, okay, one game went not great. We took the lessons we learned, we came back, we had to on a better performance. And then again tonight, we were able to take the lessons and put on a good performance. So I'm really happy about that. How much of it is just, you know, you talked about the buy-in from the guys, but maybe just getting a little bit surprised, like Finn McCarthy over like seven blocks tonight for the kid. He's come in and made an immediate impact. How big is it to have those guys who have like stepped up? You've talked about everyone, but it seems like everyone across the board has improved over the course of this year. Yeah, I didn't say that, but honestly, like comparatively over the years, like we have nobody who has not played pro now. And th that really changes things like the, the bottom level of intensity and quality is, is something that we're really working on. Um, but I think everybody is bought into what our system is, how we're playing, and everybody just follows the integrity of, of the program. And I think, obviously, that starts with Thomas. And when he is the way he is, it's really tough to not get excited about being, being this kind of a team. And, and I'm, I'm really just having the most fun doing it. It's exciting volleyball too, yeah. and I think maybe in years past, maybe you would say that the Maple Volley's volleyball was was a little bit boring. 
You know, it was a little bit, you know, it was a little bit standard, but recently too, especially the stuff that you guys are doing in transition, how you guys are running it up the pipe, just the different, different looks like Arthur hasn't even gotten really going yet. This, this VNL, like especially tonight. And like, that's still another option. You guys are playing a fun brand of volleyball. Does that kind of ease into how you guys are as a group? Like just, you guys are having fun out there? Yeah. Like I, I can't, I can't think of a lot of times in my life where I've been around the staff, the players, and I like everybody. Like I fucking sorry. No, you can I, swear. I, swear I the time. love I love being around the guys. Like I love I love the staff. I love I love what we're doing. And so I think a lot of the guys are feeling comfortable to take risks and I think Luke's kind of found like himself and he's now comfortable taking risks at like 22 21. He's setting exclamative balls back to Arthur. And like that was something that was just not happening before because we were still trying to find our legs, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm really quite proud of what people are doing. And at the end of the day, like, we'll continue to improve. And I know that. I'm confident in that. Looking forward, you guys have Argentina next. Yeah. This, is, this is a team that's always been kind of our, our Achilles heel. They're very highly skilled. They're very technical. But last time around the Olympic qualifiers, you guys got the best of them. What needs to happen to potentially get another W against Argentina later on in the week? I think, I think... It's kind of honestly the reverse of that. I think what we need to do is worry about what we can control. And if we continue to play how we're playing, um, we're a really difficult team to play against. And I think I don't want to say I'm going to do anything different. Like, okay, maybe the block is a bit different than Cuba. Maybe we have to be a bit more mobile in defense. But these are things that will arrive as the game plan arrives, and I haven't looked at it. But um, all I can, can, can kind of tell you is side out. And then we'll work on a break point. And then we'll continue back to side out and then we'll work on a break point. And once we're kind of dialing it into that, the team has that sort of cohesion and rhythm. And that's what I focus on. I just focus on the energy of the team. Is there anyone right now that you guys don't want to play? It seems like the vibes are high on this team that you guys are ready to take on almost anyone. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really care, honestly, who it is who we're playing. Um, and, and I think that's a great place to be. Uh, I will speak to it just because of the jerseys here. There, I think a lot of... A lot of the team also saw and had great performances this year in professional season. And everybody has kind of come back with that level of, I don't, it doesn't really matter who we're playing because if we play together, we'll have a good chance against anyone. And if there's incredible players and they have the night of their lives, okay, maybe we lose. But if they don't, we're going to be there. And, and I, think, I think that's an exciting place to be. Love that. If you're going to beat us, you're going to have to work hard. Mm. Yeah. I, I you're absolutely You're going to have to have a great it. game. You're going to have to have a great game. And everybody's bought into that. So I'm just a cog in the machine at this point. Love that. Buddy, yeah. great match tonight. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you for you. the jersey. Honestly, one of the best gifts. I have. This is only, like, I don't own any pro volleyball jerseys. This is the first pro volleyball jersey I've, I've ever owned. I have one Team Canada jersey that I bought at the auction in, like, 07. Yeah. And I have one beach jersey that I got from Herrera... Um, like Herrera and Gavira at the Quebec Open 2011. So this is this will be cherished up on the wall. Well, I want to see one episode with with a jersey provided episode. That's 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 that's, that's all I ask because my parents are going to be pretty excited about that. Hey, your so. your parents are, are, I, I, are I, legends. I, I watch it too. Hey, we appreciate. I, really, you. I don't watch the girls NCAA at the very end, but I watch most of the pro stuff. I have I have a question that I for, uh, that I forgot about when we did we did an Olympic qualifier video last year after the Olympic qualifiers were over, where I think we were, it was when we were ranking one through twenty four the teams that, that that played, and we were you know Canada obviously way up there having qualified, Mexico dead last, whatever. I rewatched that and noticed that Stephen Marr left a comment in the live chat that we didn't oh, yeah. see in real time. He said to ask ask him wh what they were calling Svetan Sokolov in the locker room after Bulgaria beat Belgium. Oh, man, so we have we have our giant Bose speaker and we call it Sokolov now in honor in honor of his retirement. We have a and I told him that after the match, I look at him and I just go, "Thank you," and he looks at me. He's like. Just like the biggest bear of a man. And he just smiles and nods. But, okay, oh. I will say one thing about that qualifier. They helped us, but every team played every team. And, and, and that's sometimes, some people come to me, oh, you got, I didn't get fucking lucky. No, we've created our own luck, and that's all I'm going to say on that. But I, we do name our Sokolov after the big fellow. And everybody on everybody's phone, the Bluetooth is Sokolov, and it is 
that is it. And it's, it will be passed down. The next speaker will be called Sokolov until I'm done with this program. That's, yeah. that's amazing. Thank, thank you. you. That. Thank you. I, I didn't even know that. I yeah. never saw that comment. Yeah. That's amazing. Ah, yeah. oh, dude, thank that's you good. so much. Sokolov, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh, I yeah. go hey. We're gonna hey, go recover. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. See you, buddy. buddy. Love Ciao. you. Ciao. Thanks, guys. Svetsan Sokolov, let's go. <laughs>